Yeah, I me crack. Kids have me cracking up today, man. Cause I, I got them all. I got all these little asses in trouble at home and shit. Oh, damn. It's like, hey, like you gonna call? You gonna make a positive phone call home? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. I was like, if y'all wasn't doing the dirt you were doing before, I wouldn't have made the initial phone call to begin with. I was mm. like, I would make the, I would make the positive phone call home on my terms. My turn. There you they go. Got, they got quiet. They're like, you do what you need to do. I might call maybe in three weeks. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now you motherfucker. They're like, that's all you teach me. You call with something negative all the time. I was like, yeah, maybe I'll get yourselves, but I would be calling you. Mm. I'm like, I don't call. I, like I, was like, do you, I was like, do you think I enjoy calling your house when I'm trying to go home and be with my family? Ooh. You got quiet. Like, you talk, I'm trying to be my family. I ain't trying to call your family. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we, we had some, some Jesus, come to Jesus talks, man. And I'm like, I'm like, you do it again. I'm going to call home again. Ooh. And again. And again. And again, again. Yeah, I'm going to make your home life a little bit shitty for you. Wow. And what about that kid that had the, the cell phone? Did, well, how, what did he, he said he cursed you out. He cussed me out, man. Now he is ass on Monday, so yeah, you know, it's be interesting how he gonna respond. Cause if he does have his cell phone, I'm gonna get games to be like, I get him in the cell because he's not supposed to have it when his grandmother told me and told you also. Mm. She's like, I ain't gonna bring it in no more. I was like, okay, I would definitely enforce that for you. Okay, okay. Excuse me, got a cell phone and can't fucking read or write, man. Oh. <laughs> I have um, ESL students, which they are they they, they don't know English too well. Right. So I, I got I have them in my they put them in my art class and everything. Oh, and it, 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 the, the irony about it is they don't give us any resources to like deal with them, man. Like they don't give us resources in how to translate. So you're basically a translator too. Yeah, pretty much. Holy man. shit! But that was funny. I was sitting in class and I had this one student. He, he's going around. I guess. Trying to hit on the ESL girls, and I guess they got tired of that shit. They went to Google Translator, and <laughs> the girl typed in Spanish, "Go away, please." Wow! So she typed that shit in there, and she held it up to him. And then what happened was, after all was said and done, she came to me, or she came to me and bought the phone with her, mm-hmm. and she was like. You know, on it, she wrote out in Spanish, can you please ask the boy not to come over here no more? We don't want him. We don't want to be bothered by him. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I went over to the table. I told, told the dude, I was like, man, please not go over here and bother them. He's like, man, they, they told me in Spanish, they don't want you over here, man. <laughs> they don't want you. I was like, I didn't, I was like, I, was like, I didn't want to get loud about it because I don't want to put you on the spot, man. But they, not, they don't want to bother with you. Mm. And as I went over there and sat down and, um, you know, took care of that, then I went back over to the girls. I was like, I see your phone. They gave me a phone. I typed out, he will not bother you no more. And it translated into Spanish. There you go. I was like, well, this is good technology being utilized. 